Hey Geeks, this is Jim at MajorGeeks.com. Today we are talking VMware tools. Um, we've never talked uh, VMware tools before because VMware tools is always just sort of this thing that worked with VMware Workstation. But uh, recently, um, oh goody, an update that I don't care about. Um, recently, uh, Broadcom is change some things which has broke some things and and in in this case it's it's vmware tools which typically you would you would uh just uh right click on your your vm and install vmware tools but now you get update server could not be resolved check your internet settings or contact your system administrator and unfortunately for me i am the system administrator so i had to figure out how to do this and and um somehow uh uh figure out how to get it installed so if you're not a if you're not familiar with uh uh vmware or what vmware workstation is it it allows you to run different operating systems on your machine in a in a closed environment so it sets up a virtual machine on your machine so in this case you know here at major geeks we want to test the product on windows 11 we don't want to do it on our full machine we want to uh which is you know over here right the uh you know, this windows installation we want to do it in a protected environment or a virtual machine and uh uh it, th that way if we if the program test and messes up we don't have to worry about it we just restore the state so you know you can take your thing and either uh make a snapshot of it or you can uh, clone a copy of it in this case i'm working off a clone and you know that way i know that this machine's protected this is a clone i can mess it up all i want right so that's what a, a virtual machine does for you so on windows i can run you know different versions of windows or linux or whatever it doesn't matter vmware tools is an add-on to vmware workstation that makes your life a lot easier um first off you'd be able to run your window in full screen as opposed to this ugly square block screen um, but it does other things um for you helping you integrate your mouse between what they call the uh client which is your your desktop and the guest which is the virtual machine. Um, it also gives you drag and drop capabilities. So, you know, if I want to take an image here, right, uh, and I can't do that, but with VMware tools, you can. The reason it doesn't install with VMware Workstation is the VMware tools has to be installed on that virtual machine so that it, it can then communicate with the two programs, right? So the problem here is you can't install it. Right. And it is super hard to find um, on the uh, on the internet, right? So when we go to Broadcom site, we we had a, a difficult time uh, just locating locating that program. Um, so we just uh, simply found it, downloaded it, and um, we can. We can get it, uh, put it on a web page so you can download and use it yourself. The only problem is it doesn't integrate, so you're going to have to go get it. Um, you have two choices. You can either get it from uh, majorgeeks.com, which I'll, I'll give you a link in the description. You can get it. You can download it to your uh, virtual machine here. Um, you know, let's see here. Oh, she's running a little slower. Um Oops, VM Core. So, VMware Tools, Major Geeks. All right, and you can uh, you can get it from us. I'll put the link in the description, um, or you can put it on a uh, USB drive and uh, and upload it to your system. Which for system administrators, uh, that's probably the best way to go. Right. Um, if you want to, you know, so you can download it here, right? If you want to put it on a USB drive, um, like a thumb drive or, or just, you know, if you have a lot of versions, right, of, of Windows that you want to do it on. First thing you need to do is just make sure 
the under your settings that you have your USB uh, controller set to uh, be used. In this case, I've got uh, 2.0. You can set uh, 1.1 or 3.1, depending on what your system makes your system happy, right? And then you have to uh, connect the uh, removable device to your um, uh, to disconnect from the host, connect to the guest, and then you can see it here. When you do that with your USB drive, you know, if I go back to the, my regular computer, I won't be able to see it. I'd have to disconnect it back and forth again. So it's kind of a pain, but it's also better if you have um, multiple uh, multiple VMs that you're dealing with. Right? So, so now I can see my VA control here. And in this case, I'm going to put on 1245. Uh, that's actually a really funny story. Uh, Broadcom is apparently caching their file distribution servers which may be what's causing the problem um but there there's several different versions that we were getting every time we refreshed the page trying to figure it out uh so right now we're using one two four five uh off of of here but then we found uh one two five one and then that disappeared for a little while and it one two four five again so i guess it's whatever the mood of the cache server or how they're doing it um which is pretty funny so if you get a error on that let us know we think we've got that solved on our end right so with uh, vmware tools we're just going to double click and install this son of a gun. It's just like any other program. Um, you know, you walk through the installation. It's it's a little slowish. Um, but this is, you know, 100% worth the the time and, and agitation you got to go through to do it, right? Should I guess they should just ship it with the executable, huh? But you just go through the uh, regular installer window and... You know, do the things, be agreeable. You can go typical. I typically, I don't typically do typical. I typically do complete. Um, you, if you look here under under custom, you can see some of the things that the VMware tools do, which is you know, uh, enhanced driver support and and uh, the the tools firmware update. I mean, I don't really need a PS2 mouse, but who knows? You may volume shadow copy, right? So when you when you do the the typical, it makes the choices for what you want. If you do complete, you always have everything, and it's not that big a file, so you might as well just get everything and let the setup wizard do it for you. This is a great time to. Have a sip of coffee. By the way, I've been drinking the Starbucks French roast. It's terrible. I, I don't know why people drink that. It's terrible. I'm going back to Pete's. So that said, while this goes through and sets up this driver support, um, you're going to go through the install. Then you're going to reboot. And it will be happy. You can see it's already making my screen happier. Um, it's, it's installing part of its uh, routine. Uh, already um, so much better already and then um, you'll have to go through a reboot and then we'll come back and I'll show you some of the things you can do that make uh, make your life happier so uh, here we go so agree and we'll restart so I don't think you need to watch this reboot we've seen enough spinny circles i'm going to pause it here grabbing our cup of coffee and uh and we're back so that took about a minute minute and a half to reboot so i'm glad i uh put it on pause there's no no point for everybody being able to uh watch the spinny circles and me boot up again but as you can see here now that vmware tools oh VMware Tools doesn't make a big deal of itself. It's kind of weird. It's, it's super cool, but the only way you really know it's running, unless you look in Task Manager, is down here you get a little gray icon. And, you know, the only thing you can do with the icon is disable it. Thank you, OneDrive. I really don't care. Uh, the only thing you can do is disable the icon. It doesn't really tell you what it does, um, but once you use it, you never want to not use it. it. Makes the system faster. Makes everything snappier. 
you have all these uh all these other options available to you driver wise it's good but uh here i'll show you here with the uh so what we couldn't do before was this is the host computer my regular windows installation i want to drag this over you know now i can do that right and i can put it on this desktop although it didn't seem to go that time but come on you there you go there we are so See, uh, over here we've got the, we can drag and drop files from the host to the guest machine. And that's just, <laughs> the usability is fantastic. You can also see I'm moving my mouse from outside the guest into the host and back and forth without having to hit control alt all the time. And the other nice thing is you can run it as a, uh, whoops, as a uh, full screen uh, with this this here button doo -doo -doo. there you go so blue i don't know if you can see that that's ridiculous we want to not do that come on you hey what do i do here there we go so apparently running uh <laughs> This is awful, running uh, Camtasia while I'm uh, in full screen mode with with my VM isn't exactly, you know, the happiest thing in the world, right? So perhaps I got to add some new, you know, uh, some more to the VM or whatever. I don't know, but that's the, there we go. That's better, right? So now you can see my VM isn't that horrible, horrible, uh, just square that I couldn't stretch or do anything with it's a full screen the only drag is you get the the uh vmware uh, toolbar up here you can't quite get rid of which would be nice but if somebody knows how to do that let me know i don't know how to do that and uh you just go back and forth to what you want so so there you go that's how you get rid of that error that's how you'll do uh install the vmware tools now you'll have to download it until Broadcom fixes their problem. I wouldn't hold your breath. Uh, simple, easy peasy, best upgrade to VMware that's out there. So if you have any questions, hit them in the comments. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, hit the hit all the buttons. Share with your friends. Um, read, you know, make a comment. All that stuff helps us out. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see, please drop it in the comments. At all we'll try and get to get to that or well or, or or maybe you know even go over to our forums and and say hi over there and see if there's a video you'd like to see us do so again thank you very much i appreciate your time hope this was helpful i know it's causing people some consternation so hope this is helpful and uh made your day and until next time geek it till it megahertz